Hey guys, Todd here. Today we're going to install the matte black in-channel rain guards from EGR on this 2021 F-150 Super Crew. Now make sure you're subscribed to our channel to stay up to date with our latest content. Let's go ahead and get started. All right, so I'm on the passenger side. We're gonna start with the front vent visor. Now everything I do on the passenger side will also do on the driver's side. So this visor is flexible. Uh, so you'll need to be able to flex it while you're installing it, but make sure you don't over flex it because you don't want to break it. What we're going to do is we're going to start by seating the front and then working our way to the back. So we're going to take the front edge and get it into the window channel. Once you fit it into the window channel, it'll start fitting in up top as well. Then we're going to go ahead and bend it down to where this edge goes into the channel and then start working that edge up, fit it in place as we work it up. And there we go, we've got it in place. Now we can go ahead and start to raise the window. You wanna raise the window, put it in place, bring it back down, put it back in place, do that at least five times. And I'm also gonna recommend making sure you keep the window up for about 24 hours. That's gonna help to seat that visor in place. Okay, now what we're gonna do in order to put the window up is we're going to put the window up very slowly. And uh, the Fords here on the front windows, they have a two-stage switch. So if you pull it all the way, uh, it's gonna go all the way up automatically. So you actually wanna just kind of pull it halfway up a little bit and just kind of work it up. And then as you start hitting the window visor, just kind of pull away on it to help to relieve pressure off of it so that it doesn't engage the bounce back uh, feature with the window. Okay, so bring it back down and repeat that at least five times and then leave it up for about 24 hours. Let's go ahead and move to the back. Okay, now we're at the rear of the passenger side. Uh, the front, note that it's a little more square and the rear is a little more rounded on here. Uh, now, I've already gone ahead and wiped out the inside of the window jam with some isopropyl alcohol. You wanna remove any kind of residue that might be on the inside so this adhesive has something to stick to and can bond well. Uh, next, what we're gonna do is we're gonna peel away some of the adhesive from each side. Once we've got the adhesive protector peeled back, what we're going to do is kind of push into the channel uh, in this way uh, so that it can get set in place without starting to bond. And then once, once we're pushing in, go ahead and force it up into the channel like so. And then we can draw it up to it. And then we can go ahead and pull off the rest of the adhesive protector and then pull it to seat it to the rubber channel. And then we're gonna do the same as we did on the front, where we're going to slowly work the window up into the visor. Again, what we're gonna do is put that window down and put it back up at least five more times to properly seat that end channel visor. Then we're gonna repeat the entire process for the driver's side. That concludes the installation. If you found this video helpful, make sure and give us a thumbs up. If you wanna know more about the product, check the link in the description below. And as always, if you have any questions, call the experts or visit us online at realtruck.com.